loves? It's Miss Carol. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Let's get started right away. Get your right hand ready and find your pointer finger. And we're going to make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Very good. You're getting good at that now. I'm happy to see that. Well, it's time for a story. It's time for a book. Let's open the pages and let's take a look. Jesus traveled to all the cities, announcing the good news of God's kingdom. He healed everyone who was sick. There were big crowds of people and he felt sorry for them. They were confused. They were like a sheep without a shepherd to guide them. And you know, sheep don't know what to do if there's no shepherd. Oh, see that? They need help. There's our sheep. So many people don't know the word of God. We need more help, said Jesus. Pray for God to send more workers. And then Jesus picked his 12 disciples. There they are. Let me show you our 12 disciples. They were named Simon. He was called Peter. Andrew, James, he was the son of Zebedee, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James, another James, Thaddeus, and Simon, and Judas. Those were the first 12 disciples. Then Jesus said, go to the lost sheep, the people of Israel. Tell them that the kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick and raise the dead. Heal skin diseases and throw out demons. Don't bring money on your trip. Don't take your backpack or your shirts or your sandals or your walking stick. God's workers will be given just what they need. When you find a city, find someone who will listen to God's word. And then you stay there until it's time to leave. If anyone does not want to listen to your words, shake the dust off your sandals and leave and go to another city. Then Jesus said to them, look, I'm sending you out like a sheep among a pack of wolves. You must be wise as snakes and innocent and gentle as doves. Watch out for people. Some won't like what you have to say, but use that time to teach the people the good news. Don't worry about what you say or how you will say it. The Holy Spirit will speak through you and give you the right words. Sometimes we're afraid when we want to tell people about Jesus. We don't have to be afraid. The Holy Spirit gives us the right words, just like the Holy Spirit gave the disciples the right words. Let's pray now. Fold our hands, close our eyes. Dear Jesus, help me to share your good, good news Give me the words to say through the Holy Spirit. Amen. So happy to spend this time with you today. Look forward to seeing you again. 
Bye, guys. I love you.